Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I'm going to do a commentary video for Total War Rome 2 using my cinematic style of editing. Anyhow, uh, it's a Macedon versus Rome battle. I'll be commanding Macedon. My opponent's name is Disarming Force 2, commanding the Romans. We're going to fight this battle somewhere in Cide. Or as I like to call it, Side, because you can make all kinds of jokes with that. For example, that little shaded region on the map right there? That is the dark side. So here's the, the tactical overhead map. I'm yellow, and my opponent is red on that tactical overhead. We had a similar setup, putting our cav on both wings, and our infantry in the center, our skirmishers in the front. My army, I have two foot companions, two thorax pikes, four pikemen, two javelinmen, three mercenary Cretan archers, and four Thessalian cav. Half of my Thessalians having one experience upgrades. <clears throat> and again, I apologize for my voice. My voice is still a little bit shot right now. Here's my opponent's Roman army here. He has an army of plebeian style units, for the most part, although he did add some extra stuff too. But he has one general and bodyguard unit, four equites, three auxilies, auxiliary Syrian archers, four hastati, each having one experience upgrade each, um, two principes with one experience, two additional principes with no experience, and four triarii. And that's a shot of my opponent's equite force right there. So it's a, it's a nice looking um, uh, setup he has. And it is uh, it far outnumbers my, my army. He has about 1980 troops, I have uh, 1650, something like that. But I'm going to arrange my cav on the left. Those are my Cretan archers right there. So yeah, in contrast to his, um, I have a lot of uh, pike units. And I wanted to kick it old school with these pikes, that's why I decided to bring these guys. As you guys know, I like to switch up my armies every so often. Actually, pretty much every battle. Even if I'm using Macedon every battle, I like to switch up the army every time. So there's the tactical overhead. I'm starting to wrap around him, as you can see. Just a little bit, anyways. But I'm not going to wrap around any more than this. But I want my cav to be opposite his cav. And um, I see his Syrian archers in the front. So I'm going to move up my Cretans to start the skirmish phase. I got my guys a little bit more spread out than he does. <clears throat> it's not going to pay off here if he gets the first few shots on my guys as I race into position, but I do return fire. In the back you can see him moving his cav out, but I pull my cav back out so he doesn't pursue. So the action on my right, his left, um, it's kind of belated. But the action will be right here with skirmish and also on the left flank as you're gonna see in a minute that's the little skirmish phase I'm on the left he's on the right so those are my that's my pike force right there um their pikes are not out at the moment though but I'm sure you guys can see that and the reason why I leave my um, user interface on is so you can see the banners that way you're less confused as to which units are which and you can see the mini map too so I pull my archers back as he moves his Hastati in, and I put my javelins in the front. But I'm going to start charging with my Thessalians against his uh, left wing of Equites. And I know if I get my charge in, I can I have a pretty good chance of beating his Equite force. But he does have a lot of uh, sword units coming up behind. But meanwhile, in the center, my javelmen are going to start harassing his Hastati as they come forward. If they proceed anymore, my javelin will, will just fall back behind my phalanx. But yeah, as you can see, uh, he, his swords have joined the equite fight. But I'm doing the same thing. I'm moving up my general and my, some other pikes to join this fight over here on the left. Uh, but meanwhile, my my Thessalians have d pretty much are putting the finishing touches on his equites. As you can see on the top left right there, his equites are routing. So the charge was pretty uh, pretty dynamic on my part. And I'm getting my guys into uh, phalanx formation to confront his blade units just to make sure they don't outflank me. He does have a few more uh, blades than I do, than I, than I do have uh, spears, so he can't outflank me. Which is why I'm going to use my cab to protect my, the flanks of my phalanx. But I, I, I was able to free up a unit of Thessalians after they, they beat their counterparts of Equites. So I took this unit of uh, Thessalians and went right for his general. His general just chilling back there. And I figure if I can take out this general, then it's going to... It can only be bad for him, and only good for me. And again, I got that good charge in. He wasn't even watching that part. But yeah, beating his equites, I freed up my Thessalians on the left to do stuff like this. 
So there's a little um, overview. And this is my other unit of uh, Thessalians. I use them to hammer an Evil Strike alongside my general right there. So causing a rout. If you look in the very back zone, um, one of my units is starting to break over there. But yeah, um, pretty much everywhere on the battlefield, like in the center, the battle's going my way because I, I have his guys going up against my phalanx from the front. But the action on the right's a little bit different. He has a lot more blades over here. I only have two pikes to slow him down. But I have these uh, reserve Thessalians to to help out in this situation. They can charge when he tries to outflank me. And I also have some uh, Cretan archers right there too. But all these guys are blobbed, as you can see. So if they're blobbed like that, then they have a better chance of, of fighting him. And I'm keeping my, my two units of phalanx type units uh, together. So that when, when he does come, um, I'm a lot more organized. And uh, doing some more charges on his back line with my the other half of my Thessalians. Took out that unit of archers, and I'm going for his general. And I actually do take out his general right here, as, you, as you're going to see. But look at that big mass of Roman troops on the left. They're all blobbed. So he's not taking advantage of his numbers there. But that's me killing his general. So I finally destroyed that unit of his. Which means he doesn't have the general abilities to activate anymore. Whatever he had. And then I use that unit to uh, launch hammer nail strikes. Right there. So battle is definitely going my way, even if the balance bar doesn't uh, say that. I am winning this fight. But now I'm taking my, my extra units of Thessalians to uh, bash into his Romans. I see his guys are still blobbed, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna continue him. I'm, I'm gonna continue to attack. I'm actually gonna um, pin his guys into position in a blob so that he can't unblob. That's what I meant to say, sorry. And when he sees this, he quits. Yeah, I didn't want him to fix his mistake, so I just hemmed him in on purpose. And that would have given my, my other guys time to uh, join the fight over there. But he called it quits. Anyways, good game to him. I think he should have stuck it out a little bit longer, but the battle was definitely going my way. But good game to him regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed this cinematic battle involving my Macedonians against um, Disarming Forces 2's, Disarming Force 2's uh, Romans.